Can bro. we talk about gym etiquette? That's what happens at Meow Wolf stays at Meow Wolf. <laughs> That's what my wife calls me when I shave That's my chest. Bathroom etiquette for men at a urinal. Did you guys ever play number munchers? <laughs> what kind of society are we in? Tim Allen lashed his pe- Tom Cruise deserves an Oscar. So as you watch these episodes, I think you'll gather why we are low men on the total <laughs> The Low Man Show. The Low Man Show. It's a show meant for, you know, the low man on the totem pole, because that's kind of what we feel like in today's society. Yeah. Just regular Joes. Regular guys. The voice of the underdog. Yeah, so hopefully we can open up some dialogue and uh, get to know some people out there, and they talk back. Your host, Mike is Murphy. Mike is Murphy. Pow, pow, pow. has a YouTube following, but really it's us that has a YouTube following, because we're all on the channel all the time. We started the channel together. That's great. So not this weekend, but since we recorded last, I got a haircut. Hey, so, hey look at that. Yeah. I'm not sure what it looks like it. now with the hat. But the yeah. mane is tamed. It was, a, cut. it was a cool journey to see you it's go a, on, man. I don't to grow my hair for <laughs> yeah. way too long. It just got out of hand to like in my mouth when I go to take a drink of water. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's rough. Yeah, rough it was, I'm glad I did it one, the one time my whole life. It was this well maintained. This is the norm. Yeah. Thank you. I got to go see <laughs> Meow Wolf. Last weekend, it's an art art exhibit out in Denver. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen that? Definitely check Wanna it out. Want to talk about that, right, Mio? I don't think I should. <laughs> I, think, I think it's kind of like Las Vegas. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens at Meow Wolf stays at Meow Wolf. Wow. Yeah. Go see the exhibit and you'll understand. Yeah. Because I quite frankly don't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> it's just the place is chaos. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I want to see it. Sounds cool. The funny part is the person I went with, she had no idea that there was, like, paid actors in there. <laughs> I just thought it was just people walking around. So, like, there's a guy with an underwater aquarium helmet on, and he was sitting next to us, and he started putting on these rubber gloves, and she's like, what she's the fuck is that? Yeah, like, like, we what? gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. That was great. That was a good time. Mm, this weekend, though, like I said, I didn't really watch sports. I just edited some stuff. And, yeah. Hung out with uh, Mikey had basketball, two basketball games, made some more three pointers. Hey, and uh, Gracie. So you did watch sports. Balling. I did watch sports, just not associated with Disney. Gotcha. <laughs> Mikey looks like he could be a Disney kid. Yeah, yeah, he could be. <laughs> Gracie had show choir. Nice. I got a couple of those competitions left, and then I'm done. God, those suck. Going to those. It's it's insane. I mean, yeah. she's at this thing from. She gets there at one o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. or no, like it's, eleven in the morning. She gets there and didn't get home till four a.m., three a.m. Whoa, it's real life for work. Sure. They made, they performed at two twenty, and then they found out they made the finals, and they performed in the finals at ten twenty. Yeah, wow. And I think her and her friends like went and got food and celebrated and shit because they made it to the finals. But right, yeah, yeah. That's I nice. did not attend the finals. I attended just the qualifier. Yeah, Mikey and I are in and out on those. <laughs> Nice. He's lucky he's got me. No. To get him out. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be at that all day. Yeah, dude, those are rough, man. Yeah. Feel for you. I but did. it's cool seeing your kid, you know, do their thing. Oh, yeah. yeah no, I yeah, love yeah. watching her do it. Yeah, it's just a long day. It doesn't day. need to be a day long commitment. Mm-hmm. No. no. Mm-hmm. Not when you got bills to pay. And they should sing uh, two songs tops. Like, yeah. they go seven or eight, and it's like, yeah, oh, they, wow. they hit like fi- a five song medley that's Jesus. about 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. That's, oh, wow. It's tired. And I never did, had to do show choir. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, you have to choose to for sure. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to tell you though. The, I, no, I mean, I never had to sit through it or anything. Yeah. My kids didn't do show choir. Yeah. I had to sit through some band. Oh, yeah. Some middle oh, school the, band. I that's probably worse, huh? Middle school band is yeah. rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gets better. Oh. You know, she didn't, uh, she only, my daughter only kept up with that for a year, so I had, yeah, you know, maybe four of those. I yeah, go to. Mikey did the trombone for a year. That was painful. <laughs> the yeah, trombone was probably as big as Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for real. It's as tall as him. Yeah. He had to sit on a ladder just to play it. Oh. <laughs> I played saxophone. In did he have his school. buddy pull the? He did. Yeah. did he have a buddy that pulled the thing for? Yeah. Him? <laughs> That's <laughs> Joe Nathan. <laughs> yeah, you just had like a. He took like a yardstick, duct taped it to the end of it. And just, <laughs> <laughs> you played saxophone? Yeah, I played some sax. Nice. Yeah. Did you play? Yeah, did you play like the guy on the Lost Boys? Yeah. 
<laughs> the I Titans. Play, and I shit. Play, yeah. No, but I definitely sucked at it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was like the most annoying thing I've ever done. Did you I've notice done that, some annoying shit? You would have been popular if you like got great at it in the eighties. Every like every eighties oh, yeah. song well, had a sax break in at some point. Brandon, you, know? Brandon, <laughs> <laughs> you should have stuck with it. You could be at a hotel lobby somewhere. I know, dude. Yeah. Like, or maybe made. outside the lobby, just yeah. smooth jazz. Busking. Busking. Yeah. yeah. Smooth jazz by the Sh- The smooth jazz life wasn't for me. I, I tried it. But. Smooth jazz would have been your name, too. Yeah. S-M-O-O-B. Smooth. Smooth. Smooth jazz. Smooth and jazz. it's J H A Z Z. Smooth jazz. 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 <laughs> it's not jazz. No, dude, it's smooth, jazz. smooth jazz. Smooth jazz, yeah. <laughs> I'd have to just cut the rest of this. Just go mustache, I think. Yep. <laughs> smooth Chester. Smooth. <laughs> smooth Chester. And the sounds of smooth jazz. Yep. <laughs> That's what my wife calls me when I shave I my say, chest. She's gonna... Smooth Chester. <laughs> smooth, smooth Chester. Before that, you're Harry Chester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smooth Chester probably walks around with club crackers like me. Yeah, for sure. Just a cracker eating Let's crackers. Let's check that thing. Smooth yeah, Chester right now. <laughs> when I used to work out at the YMCA, there was a guy that uh, used to get ready in the uh, mirror and like naked. And I <laughs> nicknamed him Harry Backman. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only part of him you're willing to look at. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to look. It's like I'm trying to get ready, and dude's naked, brushing his teeth. Oh <laughs> yeah. no! I mean, that's comfortable. Bro. Can we talk about gym etiquette for, yeah. for a second? Go yeah. ahead. Have at it. Okay, like okay, like there's a certain set of unwritten rules, gym <laughs> etiquette. Like when you go, it's fine to be naked for the shower. Yeah, and you know you got to dry off, so you're gonna have a little partial nudity there. <laughs> but I think after that, you should at least put boxers on. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. Yeah, you know. Absolutely. It's or, fucking or wrap a towel. You know it's the, wrap a towel around yeah, your waist. Something. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you should be covered. It, it, like even when you walk to the shower, like you yeah, should like, have your yeah. towel. I always have and it. And then wrapped. get undressed in the shower and then yeah, you put be it on the towel rack. The only time shower, you should be and you wrap up again. The only time you should be <laughs> naked is from towel to underwear transition. Correct. The thing is, is it's always an old man. Yeah, oh, the dude, look on their I face know. though, the look on their face is yeah. like they know what you're thinking, and yeah. this is what they're thinking. Yeah. Fuck you, been. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck you, they've been inside long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long life, and these balls and they're dick getting... are permanently musty. Yep, they're just because they've hang. been pinched yep. for too long. <laughs> it's they're always like 325 pounds too. <laughs> it's like all right, so <laughs> <laughs> bathroom etiquette. For men at a urinal. Yeah. There's an old man that worked at this university I worked <laughs> at. He, I went into the bathroom one time and he was at the urinal and pants and underwear at his ankles. Oh. So I walk oh in and it's his bare ass and white legs. Oh. Like, that's not yeah, how you pee like, at a urinal, bro. Yeah, you just remember yeah, when you were right. like when five, you were five, you, you took your that. pants all the way to <laughs> yeah, your ankles yeah. to pee. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking eighty. <laughs> well, they say you kind of revert back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe it's Benjamin Button. Yep. he was born yep. old. Yep. he was new. So you know, like thing. as you get older, he like nude. like old men don't have butts. <laughs> yeah, your butt crack. falls on your yeah. crack. Yeah. So like the so it looks like you kind of like. Took a frog and tried to put pants on it. <laughs> so imagine that with its drawers all the way down in front oh, of a urinal. Oh, bro. Oh, did you guys ever play number munchers when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember that little green guy? That's what those guys at the gym look like. What it's the, just like all top. They look muffin top, kind of uh, like like a pumpkin It's, all, on it's just legs and a <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly and a blob. Right. Yeah, no, no, no ass. It goes torso to legs. like yeah. that pear shaped guy on SpongeBob. Yeah. 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 Well, then you have like the the twenty some year olds that think half a bottle of Axe body spray smells oh, good. Man, mm-hmm. you're only supposed to use a quarter. So you wade through that on your way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, dude, yeah, don't get me started. That shit's gross, bro. And then you have, like, the guy that has the gym bag that's never been washed. Yeah. yeah. And it just stinks up the whole, whole section just of the lockers. Moment he it's like, it. oh. Or they just leave their shit in their locker yeah. and put the same clothes on it. Oh, out every day. that's gross. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah. That's like high school gym shit. 
No, uh, well, just some stuff I saw this weekend. Eminem, remember? Eminem's not the rapper. Oh, okay. Candy. Uh, yeah. They had like um, what was it? Transgender Eminem or something like that come out last year. Oh, really? Something like that. Did it have a bulge? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like, how do you depict that? I don't know. I don't know if it was a yeah. tuck or a, f- oh, okay. a flap. Did right. it have like? Was it? Like wrapped in Rice Krispies, so there were bulges all over, uh, and you couldn't tell. Okay. I'm not sure what happened, <laughs> yeah. but there was some. How is? How are they? There was backlash. How are their genders in an Eminem or sexual preference? Even. Right. But yeah. anyways, <laughs> there was backlash, and so Eminem now is getting rid of the Eminem candies. The top. The spokes candies. Is oh, what they okay. were called, spokes That's, candies. You gonna get rid of all of them dope little yep, characters now, for that they've used for like a hundred years? They're not woke. And That's now Maya Rudolph is the oh. spokesperson, the girl from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, for Eminem's. And the article right. says, "I think Eminem's." What did that was a quote? Wow. <laughs> but now we get it. Even a candy's shoes can be polarizing. So I guess maybe a man Eminem okay. was wearing high heel. I don't know. Yeah. Which is the last thing Eminem's wanted since we're all about bringing people together. It's confident that Rudolph will champion the power of fun to create a world where everyone feels like they belong. You're uh, fucking candy. Uh, it's candy. candy. It's, we're not, not looking. Eminem's newsflash. We're not looking to you <laughs> to give <laughs> us a anything. world where we can all include. <laughs> what kind of society are we in where fucking Eminem's is teaching people about genders and yeah it's fucking candy exactly yeah, go eat it fuck, it tastes right. good exactly we're done here it's that fucking <laughs> melts in your mouth not in your hand yeah right? huh. that's that's all it needs to do yeah. just melt in my mouth not in my hand pamela anderson remember her yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Tommy pa- Lee. pamela anderson alleges tim allen flashed his penis at her when she was 23 yeah. I guess she was on tool time. Wow. Yeah. I think she was on it. She a was like, times. hey, check this out. <laughs> Come on. The name of the show was Tool Time. Yeah. What the fuck do you think happens? <laughs> hey, you know show? what though? It's really wow. good she waited until she's fifty three and washed up. Yeah, to, to say, say that. that. To say yeah. that. And nobody cares about her. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's like <laughs> once you have a sex tape that Makes, yeah. you pop, makes you popular. Yeah. <laughs> like, I pulled my I, dick out to her, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people did. Did you ever see Borat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cobra Kai has been renewed for sixth and final season. Yeah. At Netflix. Cobra final. Kai, Cobra the final Kai. Final season? Yeah. Sixth and final. Mm. I didn't jump on the Cobra Kai train. I'm sorry. I love Cobra Kai. My son loves it, and so yeah. I ended up watching all of them with it, and now I get it. I yeah. love it. It's so Johnny cheesy. Johnny Lawrence is a hero. Yeah. Okay. He was. He was a hero. When he was really Cobra Kai. Mm. Now he switched over and he has his own place called Eagle Fang. Yeah. John Kreese and Terry Silver <laughs> are heroes. Bullshit. <laughs> All they did was use those kids. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pumped for that last season. Yeah. I know Balin Levine might actually be in it. He's a popular YouTuber that I watch with my son. And Oh, um, he's the one that did the Cobra Kai. He did the Cobra Kai skit, yeah, and they make yeah. it like Cobra Kai is right mentioned. Dick. Yeah, Cobra Kai is mentioned in every episode. So. Well, he went to the premiere of the last season, that came, the fifth season. Yeah, and he was there with the Netflix people, and she said on camera to him, like, "Hey, we got to find a way to get you into the final season." <laughs> that's all crazy. Pop- well, I mean, we've seen Tyron Woodley pop up in there. He was in the fifth season. Oh, he was I didn't know he was, in he was there. one that's of Terry dope. Silver's goons. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the? Hopefully, Jake Paul isn't coming after Terry Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the big, the uh, the chubbier dude that they all hung out at his house? I forget his name. Stingray. Or yeah, what? yeah. Stingray. <laughs> He's hilarious. Yeah, he'd get his beard and, and like a stingray tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a like, funny part of the show. He's like in his thirties. He's yeah. trying to hang out with the high well, school. Like, kids. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's older than thirties. Are there? Well, did you know that Ralph Macchio was like twenty seven when they made the first Karate Kid, and what? he's supposed to be playing like a sixteen year old? Yeah, he was twenty seven, <laughs> like twenty six. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. He wins the air hockey game or whatever. Yeah, like foosball. <laughs> foosball. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> That's fucking weird! Why would you? Why would yeah, you just date? cast a sixteen-year-old? Because uh, apparently Ralph <laughs> looked young. 
Beyonce dazzles in Dubai. Ooh, dude, they their spent, first performance they spent, in four years. So Beyonce, they just did that show in Dubai, and they spent like twenty four million dollars on it or something. Oh shit! To put it together, yeah, it was like crazy. Like, what yeah, it was it? like it was wild, bro. Wow. They had a bunch of celebrity guests and shit like that. It was a big old. But there's pretty, not enough money to feed the world. No, no, no. It's <laughs> Dubai, so it's okay. So. <laughs> They're worth a billion, Beyonce and Jay Z. Easy. They're I'm, worth a billion together. On Easy. paper. Yeah. And when you <laughs> like have a billion, 24 million. More than that. You have a billion, 24 million is <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Jennifer Connolly, who we just watched in Top Gun Maverick this year. Oh, yep. Says Tom Cruise deserves an Oscar nomination <laughs> for the Top Gun Maverick performance. Wow. He's extraordinary, is what she said. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's Shut not an Oscar. First of all, who cares about the Oscars? Like yeah. the directors Honestly, and the people that film that should get a fucking award. These dirty ass people that just look <laughs> the other way, that look the other way where all this stuff was happening with yeah. freaking, not Epstein, but the other perv. It's just mm-hmm. Weinstein. Yeah, it's just yeah. them patting themselves on the patting back. Patting themselves on the back. And no, yeah. Tom, and, yeah. and if I do, if I do care who wins best actor, it's not Tom Cruise. Yeah. Miles Teller did better than Tom Cruise. Yeah. The guy that played yeah, Goose. Goose's son. Yeah. yeah. Or, uh, Rooster. Rooster. Yeah. He did he he was more impressive than me. Agreed. To me. I thought Tom Crow Tom Cruise did a good job, but he played the same role that he played before. Yeah. It wasn't it, it wasn't, wasn't over the top. Yeah. I loved the movie. It's one of my favorite movies, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But as far as like the top actor, you're looking for some kind of epic performance. Yeah, you're looking exactly. for like a Tom Hanks type performance. The guy the guy in Elvis. The guy yeah. that did Elvis was yeah, it pretty was like, extraordinary. It was like, yeah, Tom Cruise. Played a character that was written well. Tom Cruise cool, played bro. Tom Cruise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did. I yeah. mean, he played the same. It, it, I would compare it to the Ethan guy in uh, Mission Impossible. If anything, yeah. <laughs> if anything, they should give him an award because he does a couple of his own stunts. That's pretty. That is, that pretty is extraordinary. Yeah. Didn't he the help, fact that he was Didn't flying. he help write and direct Top Gun Maverick? I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm I would sure. say he'd get more of an award for something like that. Producing yeah. it and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. It was a fucking amazing film but he he doesn't get an award for the acting performance mm-hmm. that's not what made it great yeah <laughs> yeah acting wasn't really <laughs> why yeah. that movie it was the action and the airplanes and all that stuff yeah. that's why it was so good yeah yep. oh, oh go. god and i'll pass around this photograph for you guys take a look at this photograph <laughs> ben ben <laughs> take a look at this <laughs> look at this photograph <laughs> Nickelback makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nickelback photograph. Ben Affleck's Air will release on April 5th in theaters. Okay. Air. The film follows Nike's efforts to sign Michael Jordan to a shoe contract. It's starring Matt Damon and Ben Affleck <laughs> as Sonny Vaccaro and Phil Knight. Okay. Who are apparently Nike people Nike execs <laughs> who the fuck cares bro a shoe story <laughs> yeah we've heard that story though we already know that story. story but this movie would have made box office smash when they were popular 19 Ben Affleck and Matt Damon oh yeah. back then yeah like but early 2000s yeah, yeah. this is like Joe Pesci and De Niro coming back together to do <laughs> a story about loafers <laughs> yeah <laughs> The the come up of hey dudes yeah <laughs> <laughs> the come up of hey dudes is real <laughs> hey I uh, wanted to make a movie about the original Chuck Taylor this looks <laughs> stupid bro that's Numbers, a dumb fucking movie yeah, who is. the fuck keeps paying for these oh my god that's we, stupid we do it's fucking with dumb. our subscriptions yeah you're right to these asinine services well if you guys want we'll shoot it. Just subscribe to us. <laughs> but if you want, we'll be a part of it. Yeah. We'll take your we'll take your money. I'm no whore, but I'll, I'll do, do it, that I for guess. money. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin gets uh, married at ninety three to his wow. long time love. Wow. She's seventeen. <laughs> the second yeah. man the second man to walk on the lunar surface and his yeah. partner Anka Fowler. Oh yeah, she's definitely. Old. We're over the moon and excited to tie the knot. Over the moon. Oh. Wow. Did they get married in his like I get it. uh 
hospital bed. His hospice bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 93. It was, it was a, a small private ceremony. Yeah. The two became husband and wife on Friday, which oh. also marked Aldrin's 93rd birthday. Wow, this was a financial decision for sure. In a Twitter post, Aldrin <laughs> said he and his partner were as excited as eloping teenagers on the special day. Wow. You think when they have sex, it sounds like someone's playing Yahtzee? Oh, they don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full house. <laughs> and then the hip breaks. And then you yeah. just hear, yeah, you hear, Yahtzee! Snap. <laughs> Yahtzee! Ah! Yeah, that's, uh, that's gross. So that's straight up break I don't think. You hear, grrr, <laughs> ah, snake eyes. Do people have sex at 93? Is that a thing? So? <laughs> yeah, okay, so did you, you, that? you realize that the the places that have the highest rate of STDs are old folks' homes? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's filthy. Yeah. A lot of old. Because of Viagra. Uh, a lot of old fucking going on. <laughs> uh, and they don't even care at that point yeah. anymore. It's like it's over, bro. I catch all the diseases. Yeah. I mean, they just go from room to it's room. It's okay. Bro, so breaking she, hips. So she is already breaking, a grandma. They don't, breaking hearts and breaking <laughs> hips. They, they, don't, they don't say what her age is, Yeah, but they do say she's already a grandma. So okay. we'll have to look her up. She's the executive vice president of Buzz Aldrin Ventures, LLC. Okay. Oh, of course. So so that's they, convenient. They've been Aldrin said on Twitter the that the two have been a pair for more than four years. <gasps> four Long years. Time Traveling the world together and spending time with Fowler's grandchildren. Okay. Do you ever think like the grandchildren and Fowler are riding in the car with Buzz and they're like, oh my God, look at that mountain. He's like, that ain't shit. (laughs) (laughs) Did I ever tell you about the time I walked on the moon? (laughs) So the low man on the totem pole. So as you watch these episodes, I think you'll gather why we are low men on the totem pole. Because <laughs> the, thing, the things we think about and yeah. the things we spend our time talking about yeah. aren't progressing us financially. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not going to retire on that Vaj talk. <laughs> but I think we got it with the Siamese twins. Oh, yeah. Yep. So <laughs> my life changed the day I brought up Siamese twins. Siamese twins, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember no, that it, movie with Matt Damon and someone yeah, got Damon. stuck on you? Greg Kinnear. Yeah. 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 Stuck, stuck on, on you. Stuck on you. And they ran a burger shop and they were Siamese twins. Yeah. They were the fastest burger in like the county. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them wants to chase a girl or something. Or one of them really wants to do something that's across the country. Damn. Yeah. And he can only travel to do it with his twin agreeing to. And, yeah. Christ. Greg Kinnear had a good run, man. Yeah. He was originally on the, he was originally the talk soup guy. Oh, okay. Is the OG? I didn't know before that. Brian Hansen or whatever. OG hmm. talk soup. Then he got don't his big break in like a. Uh, you don't know talk soup. <laughs> no. It was a show on E Entertainment. It's kind of like Tosh oh, okay. yeah. oh, gotcha. But way more tame. Like okay. not not like lewd. Yeah. It was on E Entertainment. Talk soup. And it was actually what he did was he would focus on the talk shows: Jerry Springer, Oprah Winfrey, Maury Povich. Yeah. So he would like do highlights of those. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. I think we've run our course on this. It's a good episode. Yeah. It's good times. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget, if you want to hear the uncensored, uncut stuff, you go to our membership tab and purchase a membership. You'll get access to the full uncut video. Got it. Thanks. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, yeah. engaging, yeah. and listening to us shoot the shit as low men on the totem pole because uh-huh. that's what we all are. Yeah, unless, I'm, not, I'm, unless de- like, I'm a dead low man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he dead low if he always lives high? The low man. It's the only way to fly. Yep. The only way to fly. Low. Ice. Low. <laughs> All right, good deal. That's what I'm going to do, too. Is I'm- <laughs>